how are you today? I hope you're doing really well. I am in my bedroom. I know I keep switching things up. Uh, life's just been a little crazy. I don't have my office put together at the moment, so that's why I've been in different places. I'm in a very transitional period of my life at the moment. So things are just going to be a little bit here and there, um, just for a little while. I hope that's okay. I have still had time to work on artwork, which is so super cool to me because that's really not something that I tend to do when I'm in such a transitional period. But I just, it's, I've been really inspired. Um, and just like all of these energies that have left my life has really brought so much clarity and enlightenment where I feel like I am in a space where I can be way more creative than I used to be. And it just, it really goes to show how one person's a few people's energy can really weigh you down when they don't have the purest intentions and I just I'm really happy <laughs> with the way that my life has been going and just how things have been playing out um obviously not everything is perfect and beautiful and sunshine and rainbows but I'm doing the best that I can and with that being said that has a lot to do with um my artwork that I just finished I just finished it today it took me two days to finish this all time best I have ever like done. It usually takes me weeks to um, complete these projects. Uh, I do also work from home. So if I'm not working, then I'm hanging out with my roommates or my friends. So I really don't have like a ton of time anymore. But um, well, just in general, I usually don't have a ton of time. But recently, I've been making sure that I make time because I just have so much inspiration and just joy and love for life that I have all of these ideas that I want to create and I'm going to keep creating them because I'm having such a wonderful time. Really, after clearing out all of those energies, I really just feel like the mental fog clearing and I just, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. I'm just extremely, extremely happy and I just have... A lot of clarity with where I want to go, what I want to do, um, just life in general. And I am so, so, so thankful that the storm is finally calming down after <laughs> a couple months. Um, but I made the best decisions that I have ever made, in my opinion. Um, if you don't like my hair, sorry, don't take it personal. I just don't feel like doing it. But anyways, let me just go ahead and get into this picture that I've done. Um, I kind of did something a little bit different. I usually don't like to do like words on my paintings or illustrations, usually because I think it can be tacky if not done well, and I don't super love it, and this, I'm probably not going to do it again. I just don't have the creative eye to like make words and images look good but you know what I am in this transitional period why not go out of my comfort zone and do something that I usually don't do so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you it has a lot to do with just my lessons that I've been learning recently and just my path and life and everything so let me just go ahead and show you oh she is beautiful it says when our plans go wrong that's what it is when our plans go wrong that wonderful unforeseen things are allowed to occur which genuinely was something that has been difficult for me to deal with because I have just cut out so many people in my life and I was very much like in panic survival mode wondering if I was making the right decisions uh for myself and really the universe the entire time was just saying trust us trust us we know that this is tough in the moment but once you get to the end of the rainbow everything is going to be beautiful and sunshines and they were so right um I'm just I am really happy I know that just like last video I was kind of like hey <laughs> things aren't doing well here but like I'm chilling I'm things are well think I'm happy to say things are very well and I'm very happy with life at the moment and I I just I loved the way this turned out if you're wondering I did a watercolor background same with her I did watercolor as the base prismacolor on top and then as you know I tend to play a lot with color and different mediums that way I can get a point across um so let me just go ahead and go into a little bit of detail about my <laughs> intentions with this so obviously you have the girl that's in the color and the girl that's not in the color what I see this as is this was me who was 
so scared of making these choices and changes and I was like no I'm comfortable things aren't bad like they were before like I'm comfortable but just because you're comfortable doesn't mean you're happy you know what I mean like I still had a lot of things that I wanted to achieve and I knew that the people that were in my life they would not give me the room to achieve such things if that makes sense so um this was very much me a couple months ago, not wanting to make the changes, very much in the stagnant energy. And this is me now, like literally holding my head, forcing myself to see that these changes are going to bring beautiful, wonderful things into my life. And that's genuinely what I had to do. I had to fully trust myself knowing that in this moment, it might look like it doesn't make any sense. And it might look like I'm making a horrible decision and I'm gonna screw up my entire life. But I just needed to trust myself, trust my heart, trust that I know that I am making the correct decision for me. Because my biggest lesson recently is genuinely learning to trust myself, trust my heart, like I said, and trust in the divine, knowing that I can trust the guidance that they gave me. If they tell me to clear somebody out for my energy, for my life, it's for a reason. And although during the transitional periods, it can get tough, once that energy is all cleared out and all gone, then beautiful, wonderful, amazing things will happen to you. And that's genuinely what I've been going through. And it's just been so beautiful because just a few, two, three weeks ago, I was just freaking the fuck out, not knowing if I was making the correct choice, not knowing if I was just sitting here in a manic mode, just like... <laughs> Fuck you, fuck you, none of you. I don't want any of you. But little did I know. I, I, I knew deep down, but the the logical Jade was not getting it. But the, the emotional Jade, she was just like, you, you need to calm. You need to calm down. Everything's going to be fine. These people, they need to exit your life for a reason. And it's because you're meant for better. There's better things out there for you. And just know, for me personally, it, <laughs> it was me just trusting that... Whatever the universe takes, it will replace with something way better. <laughs> and it's just been one of the things that's been kind of like, I've known this all along. Why was I freaking out so much? And I have to say it's because a lot of the people that I had cut out, they continued harassing me. And that was difficult because they would come at me saying, oh, you're this and this and this. And I'd be like, okay, well, am I really? Am I really just not being this kind, genuine person that I thought that I was being. But in reality, it was, they were mad I'm not being a people pleaser anymore. <laughs> and they're mad that I'm sticking to my boundaries. And when they cross them, I cut them out. And you don't want people who aren't going to respect those boundaries. And if you say that you need something, you should not have to give a reason. <laughs> if that's just genuinely what you need, the people who love you will accept that and will understand that no questions asked and that when that actually finally happened to me i was like you don't need an explanation <laughs> and they're like no this is that if that's what you need that's what you need and i was like where have you been my entire life like it's just it's so funny to me because i was so stuck in this energy where i thought everything was okay and i thought that i was doing good and i was doing good i was doing better than i used to be but i could have been even better so just because you know things are comfortable and I should have known this my mom had told me before when things are comfortable it, it's usually not like you're not doing enough you're not growing and I'm such a person that's like I'm always about growth I want to be the best possible version of myself that I can and how can I be the best possible version of myself if I'm not sticking to my boundaries if I'm not calling these people out when they're not being grateful when they're not respecting the space that I need, respecting me, respecting all of that I do for them. And if they don't do that, then I need to cut them out. Whether or not they're a good person, a good person will just respect that this is what you need and not make you feel guilty for it. Um, so yeah, I definitely am so happy that I trusted in my heart, trusted in my emotions, knowing that I was making the best choices that I could make. Because if Although you're comfortable, are you really happy? And that was really something I had to reflect the past few months. Sure, I wasn't in a horrible, toxic relationship, but was I happy? No, 
<laughs> not at all. So it it really is just the biggest lesson for me was just trusting that what I need is genuinely what I need. And it's not just me trying to gaslight myself because I'm bored. Because <laughs> I've never been that type of person where I just get bored of a person. I'm like, all right, on to the next. You know, whenever I have to go through months and months of picking up uh, cues and realizing, just realizing things and letting things pile on, taking mental notes of the mistreatment that's been happening, and then finally saying enough is enough and removing myself. So yeah, that could probably get me in trouble because I don't always communicate those things, but I do communicate most of the ones that are harmful, you know, the ones that are genuinely harmful to myself and my mental so when I communicate those things and they didn't change or they just kept going on, then that's when I decided enough was enough and I needed to remove them, despite how painful it was and how I was like, well, they weren't even that bad. Like, <laughs> what am I doing? It was that bad. It might, I, I might have not been getting like, I might have not been in a horribly toxic situation, but I was unhappy. And just because it's not toxic doesn't mean it's not healthy that makes sense. And that was really my biggest lesson this past few months, just because it's not toxic, it doesn't mean it's not healthy. Uh, it doesn't mean it's healthy. So um, I'm, moral of the story is, is that although <laughs> none of my plans that I had back then worked out, wonderful, amazing things are happening. Nonetheless, I am so proud to stand in my decisions and my choices because these people that um hurt me or hurt not even just like in recent but just like in my whole past all of the people that have hurt me have not had good intentions towards me they were always replaced with something better and that is just like kind of silly for me to look back at like last month and I'm just like why were you freaking out like you knew that everything was gonna be okay and it's just it's funny and it's a nice little reminder of like me literally choke holding myself saying listen bitch you need to focus and understand that good things are coming just because things are a little wacky right now doesn't mean good things aren't coming <laughs> but yeah that's really all I wanted to share with you I don't know if you could really see it I just you know, I wanted to do something fun and different because I've been in a really fucking good mood. And I deserve that because I've had kind of a shit couple couple months since like March. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope you enjoyed my artwork. As you know, I love to come on here and share with you. I just, I have so much fun really talking about my journeys just through my artwork. And you know, it's just, I really put so much love and attention and detail into it because my life, my journey is something that's so important to me. I think a lot of people could learn from it, um, especially since, you know, I am still 21. I am still young. <laughs> I have a ton more I need to learn, and I am here for the human experience, the human journey, the ups and downs of life, because that's just how I'm going to continue growing into the best possible version of myself, and that's just what really is so truly beautiful about being a person and being here on this planet is just knowing that you're going to keep going through these ups and downs, and yeah, the downs fucking suck, but it gives you the tools and necessary knowledge to continue growing and becoming the best possible version of yourself. So that's what I truly just admire and love about being on this planet and just love about art in general is that you can really just tell a whole fucking story of three months of listen fucking bitch you need to calm down you know like just all in this I, I just I love it I'm really happy. I don't love the words. I probably likely won't do something like this again, but it's always good to go out and just experience and experiment with art life in general. So yeah, it's cute. You know, I kept my my beginnings and what I'm doing now because my favorite thing to do now, watercolor with Prismacolor. Mm, girl, gorgeous. I actually got it from an artist that I follow on uh, TikTok not TikTok, um, Instagram, mood.dupe, amazing artist, absolutely wonderful, stunning, amazing, beautiful artwork, look it up, you will not be disappointed, but anyways, um, make a, make a thanks to them, because I would not have even thought about mixing the two, unless I had 
found them and I had been following them for years and I just never like put the two and two together and I just watched one of their shorts one day and I was like I can do that and now I love doing that I still want to do more with hair I'm not super good with hair with Prismacolor but you know that's just another thing about life is just continue and growing as an artist i just think it's so cool i have taken up enough of your time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful amazing gorgeous day anyways that's enough for me Bye bye